first, we got some breaking news right now at six o'clock, folks. The search intensifies for two year old Josiah Mitchell. As of right now, it's been nearly two days since he was first reported missing. Yeah, the search has spanned from DeKalb County to East Point. We received new information today that police are also searching a landfill in Griffin. At this hour, the boy's father is in jail, accused of reporting a false kidnapping. And as we pick up our coverage tonight, crews are working to drain a pond at the East Point apartment complex where the father lives. That's where we find 11 Alive's Molly Oak. She's live for us there right now. So, Molly, you've been staying on top of this story from the very beginning. What can you tell us is happening right now? Right now, police say they're exhausting any and all options, but those options take time. One of those options includes draining the lake outside this East Point apartment. They said they guesstimate anywhere between six to eight hours. Now, the crew started draining it just a little after two o'clock, so they're only hours into this and hours away from it becoming searchable. I can't even put some of it in words. Struggling to put his pain into words. As a grandfather and his family watch crews drain a lake outside elite at Lakeview Apartments in East Point, while police keep searching for two-year-old Josiah Mitchell. He was last seen around 1130 Wednesday night. By Thursday morning, DeKalb police reported Josiah as kidnapped. But yesterday afternoon, police said the kidnapping could no longer be verified and the boy was missing. Then both law enforcement and family arrived at this East Point apartment complex, searching for the two-year-old where Josiah's mother says his father was staying. Around 840 last night, jail records show Artavius North, the child's father, was in custody and charged with false statements and false report of a crime. And after 10 o'clock, our crews watched as bags of evidence were pulled from this apartment complex and loaded into a car. Today, the family says they're holding on to hope and each other. Hug your, hug your family while you can, because you never know. You never know. Now, police aren't the only ones here on scene. We also have missing flyers posted on about every tree and light pole in the surrounding area. The family is also here visibly shaken up, naturally so. They are begging anyone who knows anything to call police. Reporting live, Molly Oak, 11 Alive News. And